Hey everyone, this is the rollout of our new agency dashboard feature. Many agencies have been waiting for this. What this allows you to do is have multiple clients with separate accounts being able to log in with a single sign-on and switch between those different accounts. You're also going to be able to pool all of the different uh, maximum entries, maximum social profiles of all of your different accounts. Um, that way, if you have one client that has a ton of um, social profiles and a couple others who don't, you'll be able to use some of the ones you're not using in your lighter accounts and heavy up on the one account without having to incur new fees or having to bump yourself into a new um, pricing plan. So it's going to save you a little bit of money, certainly save you time as you switch between accounts. Um, but one other thing that it does, which is really great, is allow you to customize the appearance. And now you're going to be able to have your own agency branding on the software. That's not only a good morale boost for your teammates, but also your clients as they're logging in to approve posts that you put through, to view the reports that you put together for them, you're going to be able to create a branded experience for them just for that added level of professionalism for your agency. So let's dig in here and see how this works. You're going to notice under the account setting of the main account holder, um, an agency dashboard option. This will not be available for any of your sub users, even your administrators. So the first time you click on agency dashboard, it's going to give you a screen that asks you to um, activate the agency dashboard. And as soon as you activate it, you're going to get a screen that looks similar to this. Now, I've already, in the interest of time, imported quite a few different workspaces. Um, but basically what a workspace is, each one of these is a workspace. And each of these started out as a regular Socialmonials account. So you're going to be able to add workspaces in a couple of different ways that we'll go through. But now you can see in one view all of your workspaces. You can see how many social profiles each one of them has used up, how many entries they've used, the number of users that are connected to those accounts, um, even the account type, payment information, um, and actions. So starting with the top, we've got three main areas of the dashboard. You can manage your workspace, you can manage your single sign-ons, you can manage the appearance of all connected workspaces. So we're going to get started with workspaces. So the account usage area gives you an overview of all of your social profiles. You'll notice I've only used three out of 240 available social profiles. That's because this is a test account. The campaign entries, we've used zero of the 40,000 available. And this started out with only 5,000 entries per month per workspace. But as I added workspaces, this number is going to go up. Uh, number of workspaces, right now we have seven of seven used. There may be a case if you have stacked codes this may be seven of eight, seven of nine, seven of ten. So when you have when you import a workspace with stack codes, it's going to give you more available workspaces than you've actually imported. And I'm going to show you how to add additional workspaces to take those stacked accounts and turn them into multiple workspaces. We're going to go through that here in just a moment. And I've already shown you this down below. You can search for uh, workspaces by the name once it gets super long. And um, I'm going to jump back up and show you how to add a workspace. So we have seven of seven. So what I'm going to do is show you how to add a stacked workspace and show you what happens when, when we do that. So ordinarily, when it's seven of seven or when you're just starting out, the way you add a workspace, uh, there's only one way to do it, and that's to import an existing account. So when I click Add Workspace, it's not going to give me any other options but to import an existing account. So let's just pull one in. Okay, notice what just happened. So since this is a stacked code workspace, here's the newest one I just added, eight of nine. That means we have one available workspace that we can add. So I'm gonna show you what to do now. Now when I click add workspace, because I have one available that I have not used up, it's going to give me some options. I can either import another account that's already created or I can create a workspace. So you're probably familiar with this. 
Creating a workspace is just like creating an account. Let's call it workspace test. Now I've used up all nine of my nine available. And what we just did was turn workspace new two into workspace test. So now you've got two workspaces from one account that had a stacked code. So do the same thing if you have five or 10 stacked codes on one account, you can actually do that 10 times and turn it into 10 different workspaces. Very convenient. Um, now, what I wanna show you next is the single sign-on feature. So to add a single sign-on, um, you just click this button. You can notice that all of your existing single sign-ons are shown below. So these usernames are completely unique. If you already have a username called Bob, it's not gonna let you create a single sign-on called Bob. You've gotta create a whole new username and that's what you would use to sign in. And when you do, it's going to give you access to multiple logins. So the way single sign-on works is it doesn't allow you to sign on one time and have access to um, the account owner sign-in. You have to attach single sign-ons to a sub-user. That way you can assign permissions for each one. So you might have a single sign-on uh, for an individual on your team who has access to five different accounts, but on certain accounts he only has access to um, publishing campaigns but on the remaining ones he has access to everything you'll be able to have that level of detail so you can create a single sign-on for that individual and have them only able to switch between accounts and when they're on the account they can only access what they have permission to access so in a similar way to um, how the workspaces are imported the first thing you want to do is go through log into each one of the accounts um, and set up sub-users exactly the way you want, give them the permissions you want. Once the sub-users are created, that's when you go back into your agency dashboard and start creating single sign-ons. So we've already done that, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm gonna edit this, you can also delete the account. So this is one we've already created. We just made up a name and enter whatever information you want for them to log in. So here's how we link this to existing users. What's going to happen is we are going to go through and show you every workspace and give you, as the agency owner, the ability to select from a dropdown for each one of these workspaces. These are all of the sub-users that you've already set up. So you might have this individual um, set up as a sub-user using different names, the same name, it doesn't matter. Um, if there's no sub-users, then obviously you can't link it. So here's another workspace that has several sub-users. So I'm gonna have this person connected to Nala's account. You can also set a default. So if they're constantly using this workspace, you can make it so they automatically log in and enter this one. Um, and here's another, let's link it up here. Now when we save this, so I'm gonna log in as this person and show you how this works. So in this view, notice there's a drop-down box here. Since we connected three workspaces, there are three different sub-users listed here. I can switch very quickly between the different sub-user accounts. So this is a brand new account that this person hasn't even used. Now I'm gonna jump over to Aaron. Here's Aaron's account. So you'll notice that she's a non-admin sub-user. So you can have admin, sub-users, um, non-admin, whatever settings you previously had set up for your sub-user, that's exactly the permission that the person will have when they switch between their accounts. You're just making it easier for them to sign in one time in the morning and go through their day without having to sign in ever again, just switching between user accounts. So I'm gonna log out and go back into one of the main um, account users. Let's pick Emerson. 
So now I'm logged in as account, an account owner of any one of the agency workspaces. Um, so if you let's say you have three workspaces that you've created and you are the owner of all three of them, if you log in as the account owner of any one of those workspaces, you will have access to the agency dashboard just for your convenience. The next thing I want to show you is the appearance tab. This is where you're going to create that branded experience. So let's start by adding a logo. So what this does is replaces the Sociomonials logo with your own logo. And I'm going to upload a favicon. So this is the Sociomonials favicon. You'll need to create a 48 by 48 pixel favicon and it will appear up here in the tab of your browser. Um, the font right now we have Proxima Nova, that's just our default font, but you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, let's change that to Helvetica. It automatically saves and applies the changes throughout. Um, I'm also going to change the color. So let's take this primary button color and change our top nav, our logo background color, and our page heading font color. So for the logo background color, let's change that to black. Okay, all those changes are saved and now you can see it looks quite a bit different. Um, even the headings within these pages, pretty much everything that you see within the software you can change. You can even change the color of these buttons, the main text, the background color, the uh, left navigation background, so you can get really detailed with these. And obviously, you know, our recommendation is to make it match the colors of your website. So jumping back into the agency dashboard, going back to appearance, um, we are working on a branded URL um, that isn't ready quite yet, but you're going to be able to have your own domain of your agency um, or a subdomain as the um, URL of the software that will complete the white label experience. So you won't see Sociomonials anywhere. But for now, um, this is how the agency dashboard works. Any questions, you can always reach out to us and uh, we'd be happy to answer those for you.